감사합니다. 감사합니다. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mu Wee Kim. I'm a director of Tameco. Uh, today, I'm honored to um, introduce uh, what we do, uh, which basically combines artificial intelligence with mobile technology uh, in order to uh, engage retail consumers uh, in a very unique way. Right. Um, in terms of the team, we have some, some of the uh, bright, uh, brightest team here uh, are, uh, okay, so slide is kind of screwed up. But the, uh, basically, we have engineers from NASA, uh, MIT, oh, yeah, who, um, we also have advisors from uh, former Google CEO, ADC CEO, uh, but I'm sure what's more interesting and important is what we do. Uh, here is a one sentence description of our business. Uh, Tameco uh, aspires to bring Amazon.com type experience to the uh, physical world shopping. Now, Amazon, <clears throat> it gives users personal recommendations, and by doing so, they drive online or e commerce transactions for uh, retail, uh, retail stores. Tameco tries to replicate that. Uh, in the physical world, they, by giving personal recommendation to uh, sh uh, shoppers away from the PC, and by doing so, drive uh, offline transactions for the uh, brick and mortar retailers. Uh, let's go back to the Amazon example. Amazon collects a lot of data. They collect browsing history, uh, your transaction history, what you put in your uh, shopping cart before you close your browser. By doing so, they uh, come up with crunching data, uh, big data analytics and give you personalized recommendations. Now, Tameco needs a lot of data about physical shopping uh, uh, behavior and patterns, and uh, our team has concluded that uh, the best way of getting data about those uh, uh, physical shopping patterns is by releasing the loyalty app. This app, Tameco app, uh, lists coupons and awesome perks and benefits. Um, this users earn loyalty points at their favorite stores, and to make things a little bit more interesting, uh, we made it completely hands-free. So basically, your uh, smartphone can be on the sleep mode, and yet you still earn loyalty points just because you visited your store. And the kinds of data insights we can gather from this are phenomenal. <clears throat> First of all, uh, we can capture what you like and what you care based on your uh, browsing history of an app, uh, also point accumulation history uh, on our app. Uh, also, we can uh, track user physical behavior too. Uh, we know where you are, where you go, where you hang out. And also we, we know what contents are in those, available in those areas. Lastly, we capture each people's reactiveness. <clears throat> uh, some people go back, go back to their favorite stores, uh, even without a coupon on a regular consistent basis. But some users, uh, if they are given the coupon, they go back more at a pace that's faster than otherwise. And we capture the responsiveness or reactiveness data too. Uh, based on this data, we crunch data, run AI, uh, and then we uh, accumulate some of the uh, <coughs> most precious data insights about consumer behavior. Who are likely to buy a particular product? Who needs, who should we send a coupon of this particular product? When should we send it? Where should we send it? Based on these big data insights, our AI will automatically send uh, or push right content to the right person in the right time, in the right place, really driving the offline transactions for the brick and mortar retailers. Uh, we have uh, uh, some of the phenomenal attractions in concrete numbers. We have funneled thousands of people to the hair salon, ramen shop, and our conversion rate is uh, 4 to 25 percent, uh, being any uh, OTO benchmark in the industry. Um, and then we are now, with those traction numbers, we are uh, shifting to franchise focus. Uh, and today, I'm uh, uh, pleased to say that we just had a joint press conference this Thursday with Yoshinoya, which is the most famous uh, Gyudon uh, beef bao restaurant uh, national franchise. And uh, we are just, just about food, so we have other franchises coming into our ecosystem. And on the last note, um, with our franchise focus, we are projecting to continue to grow uh, on an exponential basis. Uh, seems like I have 10 more seconds. So uh, uh, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, okay. in terms of how we monetize, we uh, charge a fixed fee and also efficacy based model. Uh, based on how many people we funnel to the frequent water retailers, we charge uh, our partner retailers. Thank you for your time. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, any questions for us from the judges? I'll go to uh, Vicky first. Thank you. Uh, this is only
only available in Japanese now? Uh, it's uh, available both English and Japanese. Do you play on other Asian languages or European languages? <coughs> Uh, if the user base uh, has more, you know, it depends on the market. If uh, we have more demand for like European or Asian languages in Tokyo, then we will certainly consider that. It's easy. Um, these kind of products are always extremely appealing to uh, marketers, and the challenge is always getting acceptance by the consumers. So, what is your uh, if you don't mind me asking, what is your monthly churn rate on the consumer side? <coughs> churn rate. Uh, how much? Uh, how long do your customers, on average, continue? What percentage of your customers continue using the service month to month on the consumer side? Uh, we uh, right now we don't. We the way we 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 don't track uh, uh, according to the benchmark. The way we track uh, the user base is basically downloads. But our app got released only September two thousand thirteen, and in this hands free uh, point accumulation system, uh, it's just launched in March. Uh, we our app is uh, uh, has uh, reached two hundred thousand downloads as of the uh, beginning of this year. This year, and then uh, once we launch this uh, uh, franchise implementation. Starting next Wednesday, we will try to start tracking those numbers. Last question from uh, Tanaki. So, uh, how to monetize this business? Yes, uh, monetize. Uh, we right now we currently charge our partner merchants. So basically, we charge a couple of to several thousand yen per outlet uh, to the merchant on uh, for using a, a platform like AI marketing tool. And also, uh, we uh, depends on the personality and character of the CEO as well. Uh, some people uh, don't want to pay a uh, fixed fee for a very new service. So we uh, we also provide like uh, um, efficacy based. So uh, because we can track uh, how many funnels that have uh, we have accomplished, right? Because we can know which user opened the coupon, how many seconds they saw the coupon, and within how many days of viewing the coupon they have actually visited the store using technologies like GPS and ID. So uh, we uh, also charge uh, margins based on the uh, efficacy, the funnels we have uh, generated. <laughs> Any more questions from judges though? Uh, one more question from Nick. Yeah, it's good. <coughs> Last one. Uh, this is awesome because never in my life I managed to collect a coupon for anything ever. Bacon, <laughs> uh, <laughs> burritos, everything. Not, never I got anything for free because I always lose it. <laughs> I mean, uh, I heard this idea several times before. What about your competitors as well, like global maybe as well? That's a big question. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, right now, I'm, uh, I'm pleased to say there's no competitor here. Um, you know, we, our business is a combination of three components. Uh, one is uh, usability. You need to be able to, your app has to be usable to the users. And you can't discriminate. Uh, right now, if you uh, talk about like, iBeacon companies, O2O companies, iBeacon only tracks iPhones, and it tracks only uh, one or two percent of the Android users. Uh, but we have come up with a technology solution so that we can capture one hundred percent of the Androids as well. So it has to be usable. And also, uh, because we made it hand-free, uh, it's accept acceptable by the uh, not only the younger generation but older generation who are very analog. Uh, the other component is like, uh, large merchants, like franchise uh, partners who can give you data points. Uh, a lot of OQO companies, they don't have franchise uh, partners, so they don't have so, so much data. Right. So, sorry, but I have to catch you off there. Okay, uh, sure. Now, one last point is AI personalization. So, combination, uh, we don't, right now, we don't uh, proceed with uh, formidable Thank you very much. For <laughs>